The world is changing how we power vehicles, shifting from gasoline engines to electric ones. In a similar way, Spin Launch is changing how we send satellites into space, but they're using a unique method. Hey there, space enthusiasts. Welcome to an extraordinary journey into the future of space travel. Today, we're going to unveil a groundbreaking concept that could change the way we reach for the stars. Imagine leaving behind the rocket equation's daunting fuel requirements and taking flight with a technology inspired by our ancient ancestors, the Sling. We'll delve into the remarkable world of spin launch and its colossal creation, the A-33. America's new space race is taking off with a groundbreaking technology called Spin Launch. The biggest challenge with sending things into space has always been the rocket equation, which demands a massive amount of fuel, over 90% of the entire launch. But what if we could drastically reduce the need for all that fuel? Today, we're in the scorching hot high desert of New Mexico, where something incredible is happening. Picture this, a gigantic structure that looks like it's from a sci-fi movie, standing at 2.2 million tons of steel, even taller than the Statue of Liberty. This behemoth is called Accelerator 33, and it's the brainchild of Jonathan Yaney, the founder and CEO of Spin Launch. This colossal vacuum chamber is the key to their revolutionary idea. And what's more, the whole system can rotate, making it even more mind-boggling. Yanni's company has been working on this project since 2014, and most of the construction took place during the past few years. This idea is tailor-made for a new era of space exploration, and it draws inspiration from an ancient concept, the sling. Think of this as a modern twist on the sling launch system, something our ancestors used 50,000 years ago to hunt. It's essentially a giant sling encased in a massive vacuum chamber. Here's how it works. An arm slowly rotates, driven by an electric motor, until it reaches the necessary speed. Once it does, we release the spacecraft, and it shoots out of the vacuum chamber and into space in about 30 seconds. This sling is a high-tech carbon fiber tether that spins the launch vehicle until it reaches an astonishing speed of 5,000 miles per hour, propelling it through an airtight membrane and into space. The best part? there's no need to carry all that excessive fuel used in traditional rockets. New forms of transportation always sound a bit crazy at first, whether it's a suspension bridge, a train, an airplane, or even the first automobile. We arrive at these innovations through experimentation. In the case of Spin Launch, it's a game-changing concept that eliminates the need for vast amounts of rocket fuel. To make it work, the tether operates in a vacuum. They have an array of vacuum pumps that suck the air out of the chamber, creating a high vacuum environment. This allows them to reach hypersonic speeds, even at sea level. The result? A faster, more efficient way to send objects into space. Spin Launch doesn't have any air inside when launching, just an incredibly low amount, about one thousandth of our normal atmosphere. Yanni, the founder, got his inspiration from a U.S. military program in the 1960s. This program tried using enormous guns to send things into space, even though it didn't work out in the end. Yanni's passion for aeronautics began at a young age. He was just three years old when he sat on his mom's lap, holding onto the controls, learning how to fly. His fascination with flying and space exploration has been with him since then. Yaney also reflected on humanity's journey to the moon and how it abruptly halted. Despite the initial promises of space expansion, the astronomical costs made it difficult to continue. Spin Launch aims to change that by making space access more affordable. In the heart of Spin Launch's operation, Yanni showed us their launcher. Inside, there's a rotating shaft that creates a vacuum by preventing air from getting in. In. It's a relatively simple system that combines various components to create something truly unique. They conduct tests where the shaft spins at about 1,200 rotations per minute in their facility, which is quite fast but slower than an average car engine. The key to Spin Launch's approach is the projectiles. These objects are designed to be heavy in the front and light in the back, like darts, allowing them to guide themselves on their intended trajectory. They are currently using smaller projectiles 
calls for testing, a third of the size of what they plan to use for sending objects nearly 40 miles above Earth, where a gas engine will take over to complete the journey into orbit. Spin Launch's main goal right now is to retire the risks associated with their core technology. Yanni compared it to the Wright brothers' first flight, where they proved the technology worked before scaling it up. This approach has the added benefit of being more cost-effective and efficient for space access. The project has developed a reusable space transportation device that is eco-friendly by electrifying the space industry. Traditional rockets burn a lot of fuel to reach space, causing harm to the planet. Spin Launch already employs a centrifuge system to reduce this carbon footprint. Now, they are planning a larger centrifuge, three times the size of their current one, after 10 successful launches in New Mexico. When will Spin Launch start launching things into orbit? It's likely to happen within the next five years. While the cost may seem high at around $250 million for the larger centrifuge, it's still less expensive than conventional rocket launches. Spin Launch doesn't need to send humans into space, which saves a lot of money because humans can't withstand the extreme forces involved. This approach is particularly suited for sending equipment and satellites into space. Humans can't endure the intense g-forces experienced in these launches. In essence, Spin Launch is making space access more affordable and environmentally friendly. As we stand beneath the A33, we can't help but feel a sense of wonder and excitement about the future of space travel. Spin Launch has taken a timeless concept and propelled it into the modern era, challenging the status quo of rocketry. We hope this glimpse into the world of Spin Launch has left you inspired by the boundless potential of human ingenuity. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary journey, and stay tuned for more exciting developments in the world of science and technology. Until next time, keep looking up at the stars, for the future of space travel is closer than we ever imagined.